everyone. This is Clara with Card Stamping with Clara. I'm uh, finally back to you with some more cards. Uh, I got sick for a few days, so I got a little bit behind, but um, we're back up and going again, and I've got some um, what I think are very um, unique kind of cards for you today. Before we get started, I want to remind you that I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, uh, and I have a host code for the month that I would like for you to use if you should choose to uh, purchase something. If you have something that you need, I'd appreciate your business. And if you would, please push the subscribe button. That would help me. Um, I want to show you the outside of this new catalog that's coming out early September. It's called Creativity is Calling. That gives you some idea of some of the cute projects that are going to be available for you to make. And um, this catalog will be good from um, September 4th to January 2nd, 2020. So that gives you an idea. And as it points out here on the back, they've got 25 products under $25. So maybe that would help some of you some. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of good things in here, a lot of cute things. And I'll show you a couple of things today. <clears throat> The card that we're going to be making today, excuse me, is this one. Um, it is made from the uh, Rustic Retreat stamp set. So, uh, on the outside, it says, Sending Warm Christmas Wishes. And on the inside, it says, May this season be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold uh, most dear. So, I'm going to show you. This is a uh, card that has got glitter on it. I don't know how well you can see it on um, the video, but it just sparkles. This and, and this sparkles, and I really like that, and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. The other cards um, I made, or this, you might call this the green day, but um, let, me, let me show you the two... Uh, stamp sets that I used for this one before I get started to the other cards. I'm about to get ahead of myself here. I apologize. Uh, like I said, it's from uh, this Rustic Retreat, and I cannot tell you how much I like this set. And it is so great for a man. Uh, and, I mean, there are women that hunt deer, too, and what have you. And um, maybe for special women, you know, this would be a great set, too. But for, for the men, I think uh, that this will be one... Uh, that you want to keep around for a long time. Uh, it says, you always walk by my side, sending warm Christmas wishes. It's got this bear and deer and a log cabin. Um, thinking of you, I so appreciate you. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and love more than you know. And then it's got this little piney uh, sprig, and um, there's a happy birthday at the bottom. So, I absolutely love this set. The only thing that I used out of this Toil Christmas, and this is one that's coming out um, that you can purchase from that Stampin' Up! Uh, catalog I just showed you. And I did use the sentiment out of this one. May this season be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold most dear. That seems like that would be great for a lot of Christmas cards. But it's got this beautiful cardinal and... Um, this is a uh, distinctive set, and uh, you will get light and darker shades of this, of this bird. And we'll do one on this soon, but for today, we're just going to use that sentiment. I also am going to use um, the die, sta uh, stitched lace die. You've seen me use this one before if you've been with me before. It's got a, an edge die. And it's got this beautiful lace um, die. And I do love this one. It just makes everything look so pretty. Now then, I'll show you about the other cards I made. And then we'll make this card. And you can see how it came together. And like I said, I got started with this green paper. And kind of went green crazy. But it comes from the Toil Tidying DSP. Like this striped sheet here. Um, I use lots of these, and uh, I don't know. I guess green is one of my favorite colors, and 
Uh, I really like it. So I made this card. It says sending warm wishes, Christmas wishes. You got that elegant looking deer on the outside. I put the same sentiment on the inside and a little sprig of uh, greenery down here in the right corner. So uh, that's one way you can use it. Let me lay this one over. This one, I used another sheet of that toil tiding paper, and it's got all kinds in it. It comes, it's basically a red and green set, and it's just beautiful. In this one, I embossed that little cabin in gold, and uh, then I, uh, you know, cut out a rectangle. I used one of the nesting dies to put in behind it. Used some baker's twine and um, one of these gold gems. And on the inside, it's pretty much the same. So, uh, the sentiment and a sprig. This one, more of the green paper, but obviously this one is brighter. I sponged uh, this background and uh, basically put the bear on there and covered him up uh, with some paper uh, to protect him. And I used the So Saffron and the um, Grapefruit Grove, I believe it was, and sponged those two colors together. Then I stamped on the um, trees. And this says, I appreciate you. I so appreciate you. And this is the one that I use the you're the braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and, you know, love more than you know. And I put some more greenery on this one. But I, I really like the way this turned out. This one um, came from a different set of DSP, but it has got some bronze in it. And this is also out of the Christmas or the creative is creativity is calling catalog properly named. Um, I took this uh, bronze color and matched it to the bronze uh, foil, uh, and I used uh, one of the heirloom dies to cut out this circle. I did not use the um, embossing folder. I thought that there was enough going on without doing that, but uh, as you can see, it turned out nicely. And on the inside of this one, I just put happy birthday with a sprig of green down in the bottom. This green is not the garden green. It is the mossy uh, meta green. So there's a little difference in the green colors here, but they're green nevertheless. This one is a thinking of you. This is another one of those heirloom uh, dies. You get the one that will cut out the rectangular looking... Um, frame and the one that will cut out an oval. So I put the deer on the inside of this one too, put thinking of you. And on the inside, I left a place just to write a nice note, put some of the little trees down at the bottom, which makes a really nice stamp for the inside of the inside of the card. In this one, I um, used, this is, this is another part of this toil tidying DSP. And there's sheets that where these same images are in red, but I chose the green. Like I said, I'm a I'm a fan of green, and I used um, some um, markers, water markers, to color this in. I decided that it was easier to color in this little um, image of the log cabin just just because there's some you know small images and what have you just to use the water markers work better for me i thought this time than say the blends would put this on one of the nesting um dies that cuts out this pretty little label and uh tied a little uh fake or faux uh bow on this one and then on the inside i left this blank with just a uh, a green sprig down in the corner and you can see I'm a fan of the green sprig. I like to put it everywhere So but this is this is pretty it's got deer and bear and uh, Rabbit maybe a fox or a wolf. I'm not sure And the last one this one um, I used the checked DSP from that same toil tiding uh, Set so you get lots of different 
um, colors. We've got the stripes. We've got the checks. We got the one I just showed you with the bears and what have you in it, and and it you know it makes for lots of nice backgrounds. Uh, there again, I use that heirloom uh, die to cut out this frame to go around the deer, and I did it in green this time, and then that same big sentiment from uh, the toil uh, stamp sets. What I'm trying to say. Okay, there's the stamp, there's the cards for today. Hope you like them, and we will put this one that I set out of the way for a second together and show you how I did that. I've kind of got this in steps, and honestly, I, whoops, got my cheat sheet here in case I need it for measurements. Um, I honestly fell on this by absolute accident. Uh, I hadn't started to make this card with sparkles on it and i'll tell you what happened and how i did it and uh i think it was a good find when all was said and done all right what we have today to work with is first we have a uh piece of this is very vanilla cardstock it's the very vanilla thick cardstock it is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and I went ahead and fixed the inside of this because it's just stamping and, you know, it's nothing special, just stamping and layering. So uh, once you watch me do the front part of the card, if you, even if you've never stamped, you'll know how to do this. It's not a problem. All right, I'll lay that there. And what I've got a piece prepared. part of it prepared, and then I'm going to show you how I made parts of it. All right. You're going to need a piece of garden green. Uh, you'll actually need two of these to make the card. Uh, the one that's already in here, and this one, which is uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And then when you cut the lace piece, it will be three and three quarters by five to fit onto this piece. But I'm gonna show you how this came together before we get ready to put it on the card. This is a piece of um, garden green. And I started out with a piece about two and a half by three, um, let's see, yeah. Two and a half by three and three quarters. And um, what, what I did, I'll show you about that too in a second. This piece is the very vanilla, and it started out about two inches by three and three quarters. And I trimmed it to one and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I will have all these measurements on my website, so uh, you'll know exactly how to, to achieve this. The reason that I said use a little bigger piece and trim it, it it's just in case... You know, if you get your um, house um, stamped, you might have a little bit at the bottom that you want to trim off or what have you to balance it up. So, that's those are the pieces that we're going to put on the front. Now, I want to show you how I got that sparkle. The first thing, well, let me say this. You're going to need a piece of this Sissix um, adhesive sheet, and it is the same as, um, the very vanilla. It's three and three quarters by, no, oh, let me back up. It's probably four inches by five and a quarter right now. Anyway, I wanted to leave a little bit extra around this one too, and like I said, all the particular measurements I checked and put them on my on a sheet that you can print out and look at it as you go with the instructions. All right. So you take this piece of very vanilla, and as I have shown some of you before, you take and peel off the layer of the, uh, the protective layer of the uh, adhesive sheet. And I, I want to tell you again, you cannot buy the Sissix adhesive uh, anymore at Stampin' Up, but you can get it at Amazon. So, 
All right, so what I did was I'm gonna put this piece right on here and glue, basically glue them together, all right? Now, what I did, what I should have done, the way I had intended to make this card, and I'm gonna tell you where I flubbed up and, and ended up creating something different, is I took this die, and what I should have done was put it down like this on top of the cardstock. What I did was I flipped it over one night. I was working, it was late, and I was tired, and I put it down on top of the adhesive sheet, So, which is, is, is absolutely backwards. The first card that I made like this, I just made it with no sparkle at all, and it looks fine. It really does, it's pretty. But, but if you like sparkle, this is the way to go. Uh, put this down, flip it over like this, <coughs> excuse me, and then when you run it through the die, which I did, it comes out with the card stock down on the bottom, and then you've got this adhesive strip on top. So, what you do is take a piece of scrap paper, whatever you have, before you, before you start is the best way to do this. Peel back this adhesive streak. And then, if you look, there's a little portion right there that doesn't have the um, adhesive on it. And, and that's why I say it's better just to cut them a little bit extra and then you'll have the right amount when you get to cutting it down. All right, so the top of your card stop is sticky. You take this Dazzling Diamonds glitter, which you can get at Stampin' Up. It comes in a little bottle like this and just sprinkle it over all of it. Kind of makes a mess, but I think it's uh, it's worth it. All right, you want to cover that piece as well as you can, all the way around. And once you've got a pretty good coating on it, you can lay it back down in that glitter, and it won't stick to your paper. Now you have to get a pretty good coating on it to start with, but you want to make sure. that it's well covered, there's no sticky places left. And then you brush off your hands, cause it's gonna be all over you. Pick this up and bump it, you know, like this. And see, this is why you need a scratch piece of paper. You take this and you bump it. You wanna get off all that excess glitter. Otherwise, you'll just have glitter all over everywhere, okay? So, see what a pretty sheet that makes. And this can be used for all kinds of things. But this is, you know, you're gonna see how I used it in this card. All right, I'm gonna lay this over, cause I don't need it. I've already cut and prepared, as you first saw, that sheet. And always put your uh, glitter, your embossing powder, whatever you're using, put it on a sheet of paper so that you can Funnel it back into your jar, because, you know, that's a lot of glitter to waste. So, I'm going to pour it up as much as I can right now. Of course, if you did more than one of these at a time, or saved your paper, you see this is an old spreadsheet that didn't go the way I wanted it. So, <laughs> I do that for my husband. I'm going to lay it over out of the way. All right, and there will be a little bit of glitter around in spite of everything, and the best way to deal with that, I've learned, is to take a Swiffer, you know, one of those cloths that picks up everything. Look at that. Really cleans your surface up nicely. Now then, 
I'll get back to these prepared pieces and it'll go together real fast. With that green piece, what I did in order, so you'll see, is I put this piece along the edge. I hope I'm in the right area like this. And, I, and this piece was longer to start with too. And the reason, the reason that I, I like to do it, I just put it along one edge. I thought it didn't look as well putting it along both edges. I just wanted to put it along the bottom edge and you run it through and it peels off and there you are. All right, this is the sentiment that I stamped, sending warm Christmas wishes. I'm going to glue that right into the center of this green piece. This card's really not hard to make. There's a few steps to it. And I think it turns out just really, really nice. But then I like green and I like glitter. So if you got both, I mean, who can complain, right? All right. Let me get that on there. About where I want it. Make sure that I don't need to trim something off here. And I may. Sometimes I believe in a little extra. Let me see. I think, I think I might trim that just a teeny tiny bit. Looks like on this edge, it's a little bit much. I'm a firm believer in tidying up your cuts if you need to. A good pair of scissors can do that in a second. But I left a little border at the top and the border at the bottom. And we're gonna put some glue on the back and center it. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Try to get it about right here, and then I will adjust it and see what I think. Always, always easier for me to to look at it, you know, kind of like this, than laying down because it's sort of at an angle. All right. All right. So that piece is completed now. And it's going to go right on your card front. Your card base front, I should say, I suppose. You would not believe at the hindrances that I have had getting my video made. I came in here this morning to make this video. I was about ready to come in, and I had a visitor. Then I came in, had my lights on, ready to go, got a phone call that lasted for a good while. So I have had a time getting free enough to get this done. So I hope it's a. I hope you find it to be a good one, one that you you really like. Okay. Now, I see that a tiny little bit of glue has oozed out there. And sometimes I'll use one of these little pointy tools and, you know, just kind of rub it off. And then I can use my eraser when I get done, if I need to. And um, clean it up a little bit. Right there is a little bit of glue that I got on it. And that's why I love this eraser so, so much. And all you do is it gets a little bit dirty in places, and it will. I'm going to show you. Take your scissors and just trim it a little bit. And you can just kind of clean it up. And then you've got a clean spot there again to get any glue or smudge now it won't take off ink don't don't get me wrong that's not that's not what it's for it's for glue and 
So if you ever have any little glue that you don't want, just use one of these. And there, again, you get this at Amazon. So that's the best place to get that. It's just called a glue eraser. That's all it is. All right. So there, there's our card with the glitter and all. And it was really easy to put that glitter on. And the inside. And all finished. So, like I said, I hope you really like this card. Um, I do. I just, I think rustic is the right name for it. And yet, you've got this touch of bling. Um, and if you wanted to, I have got, if I can find them on the fly here, I try to lay things out because if I don't, I will absolutely misplace, and I may have done it again, but there is um, there's some gems that you can purchase that are both green and red from this same set. And if you like bling and you want a little bling, you can put some of those on it. Uh, I didn't on this one, but... Uh, and you know, This is why I lay my things out, folks. When I try to look for things without preparing it ahead of time... Oh, right there they are in plain view. Look at there. So, aren't those pretty? So you can put a couple of those on. I don't know if you need it with this other glitter or not, but be your own judge. And uh, Those are nice too. That's another thing in that catalog that you'll be able to order out of September 4th, 4th or 6th. I can't remember. Let me uh, clarify, 4th. You'll be able to order out that catalog on the 4th. And if you'd like one of those catalogs, um, send me a message on my a web page, um, card stamping with Clara. Go to the blog area and contact me, and I will be glad to get one of those out for you so you can take a look at it. Uh, if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to be yours and do all that I can to help you. So that's pretty much it for this week. Hope you've had a wonderful week. The good Lord bless and keep you. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if all goes well, folks, I'll be back in a week or a day or two thereafter. But I'm working at it, and uh, I'll do my best. So, y'all take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.